Welcome to Nasir Sof. This is the interview questions and answer series for PHP jobs. And in this video, we will talk about what is RD, RDBMS. Explain its features. So this is basically a relational database management system. And it is a program that allows you to create, update, add administrator a relational database most relational databases management system use the SQL language to access the database. A, re a relational database management system is the most widely used database management system based on the relational database model. A relational database is a type of database. It uses a structure that allow us to identify and access data in relation to another piece of data in the database often data is relational database is organized into tables so when we talk about the rdbms then it means that a relationship database management system and in this one we define the relationship between the two or more than uh, two tables so first we will talk about the table and its features for example rows and columns Table can have hundred, thousand, and something, even millions of rows of data. These rows are often called records. So we store our data into tables, and tables have columns and rows, and hundred and millions of rows. And the tables can have also have many columns of data. Columns are labeled with a descriptive name. For example, first name, second name. Okay, this is called the columns. Each column have specific type, for example, if we talk about the name, have characters or, or if we talk about the age column, then it have only except integers, okay? So if we talk about in more details about uh, rows and columns, so this is a table, country population, its name is country population and this table have first column is ID second column is country name third column is number of population and fourth column is year and it has many 35 rows and the in first rows the country name is china its number of population is this one and its year is 2019 then india its figure and its well so these are concept of the table and each table has multiple rows and columns Hope you understand the uh, concept of table. Okay. And now we will talk about the feature of RDBMS. It stores data into tables. As you see earlier, tables have rows and columns. Crude operations done from database, SQL language and crude operation is, for example, we can create a table. We can retrieve the data from the table. We can update or delete the table. Okay. So let's see how in RDBMS, one table is related to another table or what is the relationship between two tables okay i am not supposed to go in more details about uh, the rdbms we just see and check the main concepts of the rdbms how a table is related or how a table has a relation with another table for example we have a person table and it has two columns and the column is first is ID and second is name and inside the ID the first ID is 01 and the second ID is 07 and the first name is Nasir and second name is Saul. So if we have a table person and had two rows and two columns and similarly we have an age table and it has three columns the first column is its own ID the second is personal ID and third is age okay and it has two rows for example the first id is 01 and the person id is 2 it's basically it shows us the relationship that in inside the person table the id is 2 for example here the id is 2 in third rows okay it shows us the uh, record of uh, the two id of personal table and its age is 26 similarly if we talk so basically the id is relationship in other table that is person age and the column is percentage 
so inside the person age column the value is of person table id so basically it shows as the the seventh id of a person has age of 18 for example if we show what uh, if we talk about what is the seven id then we go to the person table and here the seven id is soft so basically it shows as the soft age is 18 so basically it has relationship of person id to personal table so this is called basically a relationship database management system in relationship database management system we define the relationship between the two tables so it is very helpful basically it reduce the data redundancy okay so in this example we have two tables the first is person and second is age and you will see that the, uh, the relationship between the person and age and by seeing this one for example if we talk about this rows we can say that the seventh person the person which id is seven has an age of 18 and to check which person have seven id then we go to the, this table that is person and here we see that the seventh id of the person is soft okay so this is called the relationship of between the two tables so hope guys uh, you will understand the concept of rdbms and one last thing that is not related to this topic that is related to our daily life and the code of the day that is the secret of getting ahead is getting started thanks for watching don't forget uh, to subscribe my channel for more informative videos if you have any questions uh, regarding to this topic you can uh, comment inside the comment section or you can me email me and the email is mentioned inside the video description again thanks for watching stay blessed have a nice day